All right. So beside me, I have a 200 amp hour lithium phosphate battery made by Canbat, which is a local Canadian company out of Vancouver. I'm just so excited about this. I've been waiting months for this. This is quite possibly the heart of our camper van and I'm stoked to put it in and install it. Uh, they've been manufacturing batteries for a very long time and they are very good at it. Also, their customer service is unbelievably on point. Anyways, let's get to it. This guy right here, 200 amp hours, um, it's pricey. So just to give you guys some rough pricing, I'm on Canbad's website right now. Wanted to be accurate with this. 100 amp hour cold weather lithium battery, $1,400. The not cold weather right now is on sale for $9.95. So that's $1,000 for a 100 amp hour lithium battery. Not too bad. Not as low as some other retailers, but pretty good. This company also offers a 10 year warranty, really similar to Battleborn batteries or Renergy. For this battery, the 200 amp hour, cold weather right now it is $2,500. This is not sponsored, completely unbiased. After researching for hours and hours and hours, I just wanted to support a local company and I also really love the cold weather feature. So cold weather feature in this battery is really important because once the temperature drops below zero, it ranges for a couple different batteries, but the battery basically, lithium batteries and gel batteries and flood batteries won't accept charge. So what this battery does is the BMS senses when the temperature drops below zero degrees Celsius and it'll actually shut the battery off to protect it and then it'll turn on the heating element which is inside and use power to heat it until it reaches a temperature where it will kick in and start charging again. This battery can charge to temperatures minus 35. Minus 35. So what that means is you're not leaving your van, leaving the heating system on all the time, burning up diesel fuel. We have a diesel heater. Some people have electric heaters or propane, but either, either way, you're burning fuel, um, which isn't necessary just to keep your battery warm inside your camper van. So boom, solar powers are providing charge to this battery. Very important if you're living in your van, cold climates, us in Canada here, if we wanna head out for a day of skiing and it is like minus 15, minus 20 sometimes, we don't have to worry about whether this battery is gonna be charged when we get back after being out in an adventure all day. We rented a camper van out last year in February. The fridge, it just kept dying. Just wanted to do a little update on how everything went with the install of the CanBat battery. Uh, it worked flawlessly. Me and Kaylee just got back from a 10 day road trip along the Icefields Parkway from all the way from Calgary to Banff up to Jasper. It was minus 30 for like the first three days and this battery performed unbelievable. Like we stayed warm in here, no problems at all. Went out exploring to the, during the day and the solar panels charged up the battery, came back to a full battery. If you go with just your normal lithium battery without a cold weather feature, keeping the area that your battery is located warm enough for it to charge is gonna be a challenge. Uh, I'm laying underneath our bed right now and this area, because it's blocked off from the rest of the area, is pretty cool all the cold air sinks to the bottom and this space never really gets warm. So if you're storing it underneath a bed in the back, which is a popular place, um, underneath a bench, you're gonna have to buy a separate heater if you are going to be in cold weather climates to keep that battery warm enough. So can't recommend this better battery enough. We're gonna be also doing a review on it on the website. If you guys want to buy this battery, we have a code type in made to travel at checkout and you'll get a 5% discount, which on a battery when you're spending a thousand dollars is quite a difference. So this company also makes gel and flooded batteries. So you can check those out if you're interested in those, want something a little more budget friendly before moving up to a lithium battery. I cannot recommend the lithium battery enough. Um, you can use 100% of its capacity and it also is a heck of a lot lighter. So that's a really nice feature. I just like flooded batteries. You want more weight, 
and you can only use 50% of the capacity. Like it just doesn't, doesn't really add up to me. It's definitely worth the money to spend it on lithium batteries. Um, you can even get a lower lithium battery. Like if you only need 50 amp hours, just get a 50 amp hour and just slowly build your system. We might be getting another 100 amp hour battery or even a 200 amp hour battery in the future if we require it. I'm not sure. We can't really afford it right now. So we'll see how this goes, but check the link out below. If you want to purchase one of these, or you have any other questions, give Cambat a call. Their customer service is exceptional. Um, I got a hold of them on the phone and email within a day. So within 24 hours, they'll reply to you. And it's awesome to have that uh, experience because I did not have that with Renogy. Um, their international customer service was very slow, super difficult to deal with. I wanted a 100 amp hour battery, waited two months for it. We want to get moving in this, like this camper van is almost finished. So didn't want to wait around anymore. And then I found this company luckily and went with them. So yeah, check out their website. If you want to buy, use the code made to travel at checkout and you'll get 5% discount. I hope you like this video. I hope you check out this battery. It's an awesome product for solar systems and a lot of other systems actually. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be coming out with a lot more van life content. So stay tuned for that. I will see you in the next one.